Welcome to Mbuya Parent School and Kindergarten, situated in Kampala City with modern well-equipped facilities plus extensive playing fields and amenities. Mbuya Parent School believes that a better future lies where children know how to find and create balances in themselves and the world around them. This explains our fusion of academic subjects and co-curricular activities. There are many opportunities presented to them to flourish both in and outside the classroom. I want to become a president when I grow up. Yeah, I want to be a pilot. I will be the best fashion designer. Mbuya Parent School, the sky is our limit. I welcome you to this session. Eve Mwenyango is my name, here to take you through Retrust 1A Primary 3, Lesson 1. Our topic for discussion today is the sun. Uh, dear children, by the end of this lesson, I expect you to describe the sun, to state the uses of the sun, to mention the dangers of the sun, and to identify ways of managing the sunny weather. Now, dear children, do you know anything about the sun? Okay, tell me what you know about the sun. That's good. The sun is the main natural source of heat and light. It rises from the east, that's in the, it rises from the east, that is in the morning, and sets in the west in the evening. Now, dear children, having described the sun, let's now look at the importance of the sun. The sun provides heat and light. Light from the sun helps us to see during the time. Another use of the, of, of the sun in our environment is that it helps plants to make their own food. Sunlight helps plants to make their own food by the process known as photosynthesis. Now look at this diagram. We have the sun and the plant. This plant here receives the sunlight from the sun which it uses to make its own food, which food is eaten by people. Furthermore, Heat from the sun provides solar energy. From solar energy, we get solar electricity. Dear children, look at this house. There is something on the May I know what it is called? Yeah, this one is called a solar panel. This solar panel converts solar energy from the sun into solar electricity. Another importance of the sun in the environment is that it helps in rain formation. As we continue, I'll explain to you in details how the sun helps in the formation of rain. Here is a summary of the importance of the sun. One, provides heat for drying wet clothes and harvested crops. Sunlight helps plants in bottles, synthesis. The sun provides solar energy. Heat from the sun helps in rain formation. Provides light which helps us to see and helps the body to make vitamin D. Dear learners, those are the importance of the sun. Now, when the sunshine is too much, it becomes a danger to the environment. Let's look at the dangers of too much sunshine in our environment. First and foremost, too much sunshine leads to drought and famine. When we talk of drought, we refer to a prolonged period of too much sunshine. During this period, pasture for animal dries, as you can see in the picture, which leads to death. Crops in the garden also dry. That leads to famine. Now, these young kids you see here are begging for what to eat due to shortage of food in their region. Another danger of too much sunshine is that it dries water sources. Water sources like wells and the seasonal rivers. Furthermore, too much sunshine spoils our eyes when we look at it directly. 
directly, as you can see here. Too much sunshine spoils our eyes if we look at it directly. I know some of you have tried, but please don't try it again because it's dangerous for our eyes. Next, too much sunshine dries the crops in the garden. That one leads to shortage of food and hence famine in that area. And it also dries up pasture for animals. So those, this is a summary of the dangers of too much sunshine. One, causes drought and famine, dries up water bodies, e.g. wells, seasonal liver. Three, spoils eyesight if looked at it directly. And lastly, dries crops in the garden. Now, my dear children, how can we manage all those dangers which are caused due to too much sunshine? As of now, let's look at ways of how we can manage the sunny weather. One, the sunny weather can be managed by carrying an umbrella. This is an umbrella. Some people have a tendency of only using the umbrellas during the rain season. But you can also use an umbrella during the sunny season as a way of managing too much sunshine. Next, we can wear hats or caps when we are moving out. Put on your cap, put on your hat, and you know when the sunshine is too much. Three, you can wear sunglasses. I always move with mine. Whenever the sunshine is too much, I put on to protect my eyes from that too much sunshine. Another way we can protect ourselves from too much sunshine is by sitting in the shade. As you see here, there are people, there are animals sitting under the shade. It's a way of managing the sunny weather. If not, sit indoors. What do I mean by sitting indoors? Keep in the house. My dear children, here is a summary of how we can manage the sunny weather. By carrying umbrellas, by wearing hats or capes, by wearing light cloth. Now, these are cloth made out of light material. By wearing sun, sunny sunglasses on sunny days, by sitting in the shade, and by sitting indoors. Now, I prepared for you an activity which I would like you to do for me. And in our next lesson, we shall begin from that activity. But remember to follow the COVID-19 guidelines, that is washing your hands with clean water and so sanitizing and keeping social distance. God bless you all.